Hey everyone, it's Chris here with the Ascent Stores. Uh, so we're looking at Unama the Puzzle today. Eric just put up a review, so I thought I'd capture a little video for it so you guys understand uh, what the gameplay looks like, because it's kind of hard to tell from screens and stuff. So this is Unama the Puzzle. It's in the uh, No More Heroes Allowed series, or not Bad Man, I guess it was called at one point. But it's a little bit different from those ones, as it is a match three puzzle game now, instead of being... Um, like the, den the dungeon building sort of like simulator thing it used to be on PSP. So let's hop into a match here. Um, there's different stages that have different heroes that will run through them. So it's every 10 heroes you get a new stage. So I'll start at the beginning here so you can see how it looks when you start. But basically uh, you're matching three monsters on the f on your dungeon field here to make them spawn to like the, uh, the heroes. And you have uh, your pickaxe like you did in the game, and every time you dig with the pickaxe, after a certain number, uh, the hero will throw some like immovable blocks into your playfield. So let's skip this little dialogue here. So you're basically trying to, to beat the stage before the hero moves all the way down to the bad man, as you can see on the right hand side there with a the little flashing icon. So basically you're just digging with your pickaxe to try to match three and you can slide blocks over if you need to to uh, make that happen. There's also things like nutrients if you remember from the game, so if you pickaxe one of the monsters that has the, the glowing uh, stars on it, it'll feed the monsters around it and make them stronger to upgrade them to the the next level of monster that's in the game. So the basic ones are the, the slimes are the beginning one. Uh, slime, if you match three slimes, it'll turn into a moth. If you match three maws, it'll turn into the lizard man with a knife. If you match three of those, it turns into the demon with the one eye and the horns. And if you match three of those, it turns into a dragon. Whenever you uh, use the dra you match three dragons, it'll clear all the immovable blocks off the screen. So it's really good to try to get as many dragons as you can if you're getting stuck in later levels. But basically, it's just a uh, time to match three game. You're trying to kill the hero before he gets to you. He has a life bar, you can see there. The life bar increases. Uh, as you go up in levels, like they'll add different colors to it, like a yellow or a green or orange if I remember. But yeah, this, this game is really fun, it's really simple to play. Because uh, it's just basically a match three puzzle game. They basically boiled down what the Batman games were into a simple formula. Uh, the game right now is $6 on the PSM store in the US. It was $3 for a while, but I guess that was introductory price. Um, kind of disappointed that it went up that much. It jumped three dollars in a week. Uh, there's also uh, some other game modes you can play. There is a uh, what is it it's called? Like just the boss rushes, where you're just fighting the bosses and trying to beat them as fast as possible. Uh, and then apparently after you beat stage 10 or stage 9, you unlock an extra mode, which is even harder than the original mode. And this game gets really tough after. Uh, you start going at it. Right now it's pretty easy because it's just uh, very low life points with the characters, but if I skip to a harder level here, I'll do that right now. Uh, let me skip to a hard one. Because once they get more HP, it's harder for them to... It's harder for you to kill them, so let's just watch me die in stage 8 here. It probably will take me... I don't know... 5 minutes to die. But you can keep chaining through these levels and getting a higher and higher score, and you're rated like in the Batman games. Like, I think I have a C rating right now for my high score. So, it goes all the way to like double S is the highest you can get, I think. So, you can see they changed the monsters up a little bit in the later stages of the game. Uh, they're still the same, like, formula. Like, the, the ghost flames go to the, the witch ladies, and they go to the mermaid people. They turn into the stone golems, and those turn into the dragons instead of the other way it was before. Uh, with the nutrients, it, it, the, like the area of effect changes based on the level of monster that's used. So if I use this golem right here, it should do like a big swash of blocks that get upgraded. And uh, like the the slime, the slime or the ghost here only do like the one above and one below. The next one up does like a plus sign, and then it goes on from there. I need to actually play this now, or I'm gonna lose. So you can see. Uh, I read in one of the tooltip like hint things that guys that don't have swords or rods attack your screen horizontally, so they'll add blocks that go in a horizontal pattern, and the other ones attack you vertically, I guess. 
Oh, there's different patterns to it or something. Uh, let's see what can we do here. Stone golem, move him over. Get his dragon. Move the dragon down. Here we go. So you can see that the dragon gets rid of all the blocks. You can usually combo pretty well off a dragon. Because it frees up a lot of space. I think the highest combo I've gotten right now is about 20, 25. And you get a ton of monsters on your screen when that happens, as you can imagine. Alright, what can I do here? Right. Kill the dragon. Sorry, dragon. You need to be sacrificed. Yeah, this game is a ton of fun. Uh, like I said, I was disappointed that the price went up so much, but I guess that's how Sony Japan prices their stuff. Which is a little disappointing. Because when, when people think mobile games, I think they expect... Well, the game is pretty deep. I, there's probably something similar for, on the iPhone for 99 cents, or something, like something like that. Like, I think I've, I've seen a couple comparisons made to... Uh, was that 10, 10 million? 10, 100,000 something? That one game where on iOS where you're doing the same thing pretty much, like going through dungeons and using match 3 to get keys and stuff like that. Oh, it's gonna suck. Because you can't, you can't move pieces up once they've been on the, the ground floor, so pretty much got screwed out of that one. But yeah, to get rid of a, a block, you can uh, level up a monster that's touching it, and it will get rid of it. So watch this. If I slide that undine over, it gets rid of that block. So there's a lot of strategy you have to employ. Uh, they don't teach you about the sliding technique that I'm doing unless you play the whole tutorial, which is uh, one of the modes. Some people I noticed playing didn't know you could slide pieces, and this is just wrecking me right now. can I do? I made a dragon, but I'm not going to be able to get to it. <laughs> Just try my best to- oh no, no, I can't, I can't move that over. Darn. There we go, we got another dragon, but he's stuck. I think I might make it out of this one. here now. As you can see it doesn't uh, remove them horizontally. So right now I'm pretty much boned. Unless I can get that power up one down. Because the power ups also make it into a, oh, just a stone block. At least gotta make it so I can do some move. much done here. Can't really do much. Because I can't combo, and comboing increases the number of monsters that go to the playfield. So I'm pretty much just stuck with the... Yep, there we go. I'll show you the boss uh, rush mode real quick, and then we'll end this video. You can see I'm gonna get great graded. I got D rank that time, so I'm not very good, I guess. So yeah, make sure if you do buy the game, do the training because it teaches you all these different strategies. Um, but boss attacks, you just basically play through a boss and try to beat it as fast as possible. So I'll do the second boss right here, and then he's level 20, so he should have two life bars, I think. Alright, let's try to do this quickly. Try to combo it up as much as possible. Failed. Oh, you can combo still while the pieces are falling, and it'll keep your combo alive like I did just there. As you can see I still have my combo even though uh, pieces weren't like actually part of the combo I added delete some and then move them over. But if this is Unama the Puzzle, it's $5.99 on the US store. 
I believe it's 600 yen now. I'm not sure about the European price uh, for for UK, but for uh, mainland Europe, it's going to be uh, five euro ninety nine. But yeah, you know I'm the puzzle. If you're a, you're a fan of match three games, I recommend checking checking it out.